Hey everyone, thank you for joining me. In this video, we are going to continue our discussion of chicken picking, and we're going to use the song Old Time Debauchery like we did in part one of chicken picking. Um, in, that, in the first part, I introduced you to what I was playing. We went through it slowly. In this video, we're going to add more of the chicken picking flavoring to that and um, try to play it a little, with a little bit more taste than the last video. Okay. Okay, quick recap to part one. We started off, like I said, just uh, having me show you what I was playing and not really emphasizing the chicken picking element very much. So, we begin with an open A, that is the fifth string, and then we do um, the second fret, third and fourth string together. So, and then we go down to the sixth string, do an open E, then a G, which is the third fret sixth string, then we hit the open E again, and then we go up to the fifth string, and we do a pull off the C to the A. So the C is the third fret to the A, which is the open fifth string. So it's like this. So just like that. And then we went up the fretboard, we go. Okay, so it doesn't really sound much like something that would be considered chicken picking, but once again, we just needed to know what we were playing first and just be able to do that. Okay, so now if we're going to do it like I play it in the song with a bit more of a chicken picking, picking attitude to it, you could say. Uh, basically what I do is uh, I play it like this. Okay, and you notice that I'm muting the notes on the low six string. So like that. So if you play at more normal speed, it sounds like this. So it has a little bit more of that attitude uh, to it, a little bit more of, uh, you can hear the more of the emphasis on the notes that I play with my fingers. So that would be these notes here. So. Now you can start to hear the chicken picking essence starting to come out a little bit. So basically what you want to do now is take what you already know and just add the muted notes to it, which are on the low six string. So that would be... And then part two goes... Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Um, we're going to play that together real quick right now. Um, so I'm going to give you a four count so that you can play it right there with me. Here we go. One, two, three, four. So there you go. And basically what the goal is, is to get it to a more comfortable speed. And if you want to play it faster even than what I do in the actual song, Old Time Debauchery, that's your choice. If you want to play it maybe three quarters of the speed, if that's where you feel it, that's fine as well. So go through what I just showed you right there, adding those muted notes in and slowly 
work your speed up a little faster. If you have a metronome that you can play along to, which will provide a click track, please do so. Thanks. In part three of my chicken picking videos, we're going to discuss more of the intricate phrases and solo elements that I use in the song Old Time Debauchery. There should be a link also right below on this video for you if you need to hear the song Old Time Debauchery once again. If you have any other questions on the main rhythm pattern we've been discussing, please review part one for my chicken picking series. Also, if you like this video, please leave a comment, select the like button, and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.